Hi everyone, the name is Eric Dor and today's question might come off as a bit odd. Are INFPs fake people? The reason why I ask this is because a lot of time INFPs seem to be portrayed in fiction and in reality as pretentious, uh, manipulative or deceitful people. Some people in popular culture and in the Myers-Briggs community seem to have the idea that INFPs are people that like to make themselves out to be more than what they are, that INFPs tend to latch on to a false concept of who they are, that INFPs are likely to mistype, that INFPs are likely to claim to have powers or abilities they don't have. Yeah, there seems to be this negativity revolving around the INFP personality type and it's typically focused on the INFP being inauthentic. Now, if you know the cognitive functions, this idea makes absolutely no sense and the question can be answered immediately. If introverted feeling is your dominant function, there is no way you can be an inauthentic person. Introverted feeling is primarily navigated by the self, your most utmost priority in life. What comes most naturally to you, what you express most effortlessly is introspection. You are a naturally introspective person. You are a person that has a strong self-concept, a person that needs a strong own identity, a person that is constantly reflecting on themselves and who they are and whether they are acting and making decisions that are authentic and true with their own personality. So... Why are people having this idea of INFPs? Why do people think the way they do about INFPs? I think it has to do with cognitive function maturity. I think uh, on one end we have people that are extremely self-aware, extremely authentic and extremely honest. You know, we have the individuated INFP, the person that has found a strong self-concept that is accurate, that is based on something real, that is and matches with their true feelings, their true motivations, their true intentions, the, who they really are. And then you have the INFPs that are clinging to a false concept of self, INFPs that have an identity that simply does not exist, INFPs that believe themselves to be something often the opposite or very different from who they are. Now, I think when we grow up, we assume that we will be naturally good at our dominant function. We expect ourselves to be amazing at our dominant function the first try we get. The first self-concept we have has to be correct. The first theory an INFJ formulates has to be correct. The first uh, piece of uh, data that an introverted thinking type gathers has to be, you guessed it, correct. But is that really the case? Do we really start out naturally good at our cognitive functions? Are we really right to claim this about how the cognitive functions work? Isn't it more accurate to say that we started out quite terrible at our flow functions? Doesn't it make more sense to say that we start out being bad or off and we notice ourselves being the most off and the most terrible when it comes to our flow function? We are the most self-aware of our flow function, we use it the most, but it takes a long time before we master it. So on the journey, there is going to be a lot of problems. You know, as an INFJ, there's going to be a lot of uh, tendencies towards eccentric, naive beliefs, uh, paradoxes, impossible answers, theories that have no basis in reality. You know, you guessed it, we're not going to be naturally amazing, we're not going to get it right our first attempt. Our theories are going to have to be reconceptualized over and over again and reframed. And it's only going to be when we become a bit older, a bit more mature, that we're going to find ourselves. Isn't it then the same thing for the INFP? Perhaps the INFP teenager can rightfully be accused of being inauthentic. Because even though they are people that seek to be authentic, even though they are people that seek to be honest, Sometimes they might not know who they are. Sometimes they might be lost. Sometimes they might uh, get uh, caught up in a persona or a role. Can't that happen to an INFP just as well as it can happen to an ENTJ or an ENFJ? I think, yeah. I think uh, INFPs are people that are going to have a strong self-concept, but not always an accurate one. And I think INFPs are people that going, are going to try to be honest, but they're sometimes not going to know what honesty is. They're sometimes not going to know what the truth is. 
The good news is the INFPs are people that spend more time searching for the truth, introspecting, correcting, reflecting, and clearing up self-deception. And that means they are, in my opinion, one of the people that are the most likely to type correctly as they get more mature and more strong in themselves and more authentic. As you grow older, as an INFP, your natural movement is going to be towards becoming a highly authentic, individualistic person with a strong identity and a strong backbone. A person that will act in honesty with who they are and is going to be strong in themselves and in their own shoes. Those are my thoughts on INFP and INFP development. What are your thoughts on INFPs? What do you think about this question? Does it make sense? Do INFPs grow in this way that I describe in this video? Let me know in the comments down below and thanks everybody for watching.